Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the previous episode, we came here to the treasure shop. Well, aren't you a fit fellow? Wanna play? She is quite sexy, but... Anyway, for you, it's 30 rupees. Well, that's a bit overpriced. Well, actually, if you come in as a kid... Come in. Oh, is the kid collecting masks? How about it? Wanna play? And it's 20 rupees. Come in as a Deku scrub. Oh, what a cute little customer. So, do you want to play? 10 rupees. So, as you can see, depending on what form you come in as, she will uh, raise the price or whatnot. Why did I just do that? Anyway, we want to be a Goron. Because we're quite fit and we might actually get, you know, get this chick's phone number. Not. Anyway, if you can uh, make it all the way to the treasure chest and open it within the time limit, I'll give you a special prize. Finding out what's inside is half the fun. Well, if it's your number, it's worth it. Now then, you don't have to do this as a Goron. That's just to get the prize to be what you want it to be. You can turn back into a kid and throw on the bunny hood, and you'll still get the item, which is a piece of heart, by the way. Now, as you're navigating through the area, you're going to want to, well, yeah, as you can see, navigate. So, that's what I'm doing, and as of course, eh, of course you can see that you are timed, so I'm trying to be as quick as possible here. I am quite slow. Ah, come on. Oh, look. I don't think I'll make it this time, guys. Man, I suck. Yep, I'm not gonna make it this time, but... You get the point of what I'm trying to say here. Time's up. And we get sent back. Um, won't you try again? Uh, I guess. No. Oh, really? Too bad. Come again. Getting back in the Goron. And yeah, we're just gonna keep trying to get this chick's number until, uh, until we get it. So, let's try this again, huh? Alright. So this is where the bunny hood can come in helpful. Just trying to speed up. Oh, come on. It seems like these stones pop up wherever I'm going. Which is stupid, but... I'm gonna have to deal with it. Come on, get to the chest, get to the chest, get to the chest. What are you stones doing? Oh, lord. Well... Really? I wasted another 30 rupees, huh? Come on. Ah. Let's try this again. Oh, won't you try again? Alright, after this we're going to have to go look for him. I will get this chick's number. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I guess that was gonna happen. They wouldn't make it that simple. All right, here we go. We'll go ahead and open up the chest and we should get a piece of heart. Which is all good. Did you have fun? Uh, uh, well, you try again. Only if you're giving me your number, so. Seeing as how she's clearly not interested in this. 
Let's leave. You brought it upon yourself, lady. Alright. Next, we're going to get to go to the post office, which I actually think is on the other side of town. But, like, we could check up here. Yep, it's on the other side of town. Where'd my map go? I should have a, a map... I, there we go. Did I say Hyrule? No, Clock Town. Alright. Into the post office here. Hey, your master's back. Mmm. Looking good as always. Alright, let's go in here then. Hello? Yeah, we've not been inside here yet, but look at this guy. What are you doing? Hello? Four, five, six. Whoa, those ears. Oh, they're fake. You startled me. Don't disrupt my tra training. In my mind, I, run I am running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of a mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Give me a second. <coughs> <coughs> Lord, alright. Sure. Press A to start. Count 10 seconds on the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot. Press A. Now, if you have the bunny ears, this makes this a lot simpler. If you don't, then, uh, well, you'll see why. I'll explain it here in a second. Four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. Your time was ten. Ah, and yeah, almost. That was a close one. As you saw, it gave us the time as it was going by. It doesn't do that if you don't have your, the bunny ears on. If those are off, it'll go through like the first three seconds, uh, and then it'll disappear. So, ah, cost two rupees each turn. Really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, uh, no. That was, ah, uh, that was even bad. That was even worse. Yeah. Oh, oh come on. Yes. Two, three, four. Five, six. Ah! Just a bit early. I'm gonna get it, guys. Come on, I was a band. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah! I will get it. Six, seven. Ah! Twenty two milliseconds. I run out of money. Five, six, seven, eight. No, that was ten, twelve. See? This is difficult. Even with the bunny ears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah. I'm focusing here. There we go. Your time was ten. Huh? Ten seconds? That is amazing. You have reflexes suitable for a postman. Last thanks for showing me something impressive, and I give you this. And we get another piece of heart. I can't be like this. I'll have to trade more. More! And that was added to our notebook. Alright. That's basically done. 
now we can go ahead and do something else. Uh, we're on the wrong side of town. Right. So let's go on this side of town then. We're gonna head to the observatory. If if you were wondering. Alright. Go up this way, and our password was one five. What was it? I don't have my notepad on me. Where's my bomber's notebook? Oh, there it is. Let's see. One, five, two, three, four. Alright. I want one, two. Oh, Lord. One, five, two, three, four. Alright, that seems to have worked. Now, what I don't understand is, if you reset time, and the first time you don't get to keep the, uh, your title of being in this uh, this group, then how come now you can just automatically know everything, have the bomber's notebook and such, and it not affect time? Because the moment you come out, they'll be like, how did you even get that notebook, you know? That was just, you know, something in my head. Because they'll, of course, have forgotten all about you, and then, you know, they'll just be wondering, how the heck did you do that? Anywho. Yeah, another thing about the Scarecrow song is, I just found this out earlier, actually. Um, if you give him the song, you actually have to redo it each day because he'll forget it each time. That's something lame there. I can't exactly remember anything that has to do with him, though. Alright, where you at, old man? There he is. What we're trying to do is get the property. Well, you're a child I've never seen in town before. You a new friend of the bombers. I always say that it's important. Yeah, whatever. I want to gaze into your telescope. Why? Because there should be a moon tier. Hello, Skull Kid. Yeah, look up into the sky. We get this usual cutscene. Oh, the moon's all crying. Is it because I said you had an ugly face? You know, he has quite a beautiful face. I'm not going to yell at the moon. This moon has brought joy into my life for the last, I don't know, 24 hours. Yeah, I didn't quite like Majora's Mask when, uh, growing up on the Zelda series. I did like Zelda, but I just never really liked Majora's Mask. Because of the whole three-day concept and only being able to save if you reset time. The constant, you know, just resetting of everything. So I never really got into it. I'm not saying that I haven't beat it and such, but honestly... I just never really got into it until uh, I became friends with Amanda, and Amanda, she's a huge, this is like her favorite Zelda game, along with Final Fantasy VIII being her final, eh, favorite Final Fantasy game. So both of those Let's Plays are going to be dedicated to her. But I really just didn't like this, and of course my favorite Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy VII. Can't wait to do that Let's Play. And I've, to be honest, I've played through the first seven Final Fantasies. I skipped eight and nine, and I played through ten. So I've not played eight or nine, but I know the characters in it and such, so I can like talk about it in Kingdom Hearts, and I know some of the basics of uh of what the storyline is. Like you have your seed rank and stuff in Final Fantasy VIII, but I've not beat it. So, it will be rather interesting, in my opinion, to actually do those. Alright. Why did I do all this, you might be asking. Well, there's actually a heart piece that you can get for doing this. There's two of them, actually. What am I doing? The heart... I'm gone crazy, guys. Hold on. Now, after this, we're going to actually have to head back to the observatory, so hang on for a second, all right? Hello. Da, 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 da. If you have one, I'll trade it, yes. 
And we're gonna go ahead and get this du Deku spot. This is just because... This is actually just required to get to the, the, uh, the, the heart piece. You see, he'll fly off. But where does he actually go? Well, let's find out, because if you go to the observatory, you can actually find out where he goes. Yeah, I'm going to let the video go a bit longer here. So that I can finish up the side quest, it might be around 20 minutes. Yeah, my defini definition of side quest is slightly different than most people's. Most people, it's like it, it's an important, not an important pl plot of the game, but it adds on to it. Well, basically, my idea of a side quest is you doing anything to. Uh, go out and do something that, you know, isn't exactly required or, you know, getting upgrades and stuff. So, you know, going to the shooting gallery and stuff, that was a side quest. It's not required, but I was going to just go do it anyway. May I look into your telescope, sir? Yes. <coughs> now, if you look around you'll see that our buddy there is actually flying off. So, let's follow him and see where he goes. Man, he flies pretty quick. I could have done this earlier, but of course I didn't. Hello, where'd you go? There he is. Now, you actually have to follow him all the way through, and you have to do this in order to... Uh, for him to be there when you get there. Come on, where'd you go? Now, if you look at that hole, he's eventually gonna fly into it. See? And we're gonna have to follow him there. Now, you actually have to... You do have to watch him go wherever he goes. If you don't watch it all the way, then you'll just have to end up coming back here anyway. Can't go out that way. I mean, you could if you wanted, but uh, you have to have a flower seed, and you'll, you'll have to know, like, the Song of Storms, which you do learn in this game, uh, or have some spring water, which I got rid of. Poor me. I'm getting rid of my spring water. Ah, come on, Link. And now I'm going to have to run all the way out there because I didn't have uh, my my beans, my magic beans, to grow my flower. Alright. Why did I go out this way? The observatory is clearly, clearly to the east, so I want to go out the east way. I know, I'm breaking off from the actual game again to do random stuff, but... You know... It's just stuff that I can do. I'm doing it as it comes. So we're gonna head over this way and drop into that hole. Ew, no I'm not. Ha <laughs> ha, I lied. I'm going to the bank first because I don't have enough money. Yeah, this piece of heart you actually have to buy. Um, it's 150 rupees, however, I'm bringing only 100 with me. And you'll see why here in a minute. No, not deposit. Alright, I want to withdraw. And I'm going to draw 70. Up. Ah, Look at me wasting time. Don't you guys love it? Quit randomly pressing buttons. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And let's... Use it wisely. Well, we got 476 still left in the bank. Which is pretty good. 
I'm probably going to spend a while actually going through and farming for that silver rupee, to be honest. But for now, the amount of rupees that we have is good for now. But I want it to be around 5,000. 5, because once you get 5,000, the banker will give you a, uh, a piece of heart. So I'll probably spend time doing that eventually in one episode. But I'll do it off screen. I'm not going to waste your all, you all's time uh, of me resetting time every five seconds after getting that rupee. Hello. Ah, oh, what are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come in without permission. Please, I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. Uh, no, not for 150. Hmm, no good? In that case, you leave me no choice. What about for 100 rupees? You'll want to do this one. Why? Because if you say no again, he'll leave, and then you can't get this unless you reset time again. It's not that I don't believe you, but just being, just to be safe, I'm moving my storage. So, you hurry up and get out, too. Okay. Then what was the point in him giving us a piece of heart? I'm not going to complain, though. I mean, piece of heart's a piece of heart. You gotta love it. Alright. That out of the way. Yeah, I destroyed your storage. A whole one pot. Alright. The next thing we can do is head back to the Goron village. I think, anyway. Okay, then. That was weird. Let's head back to the mountain village. Oh, wait a second. I lied again. We're actually going to head to the swamp. Southern swamp. Yes. We need to talk to the Deku scrub there to get the, uh, the swamp deed. You can tell what I'm probably going to be doing. This is just for later, of course. Once we find the Deku who's looking to move about. You know what I mean? I think I do. Get a load of this. Shabwow! Oh, that's a town log. Yeah. We've read this before. Now we got the swamp title deed. And he's gonna fly off. Shuffle. Choo, 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 choo. Yeah, we can't do the same uh, uh, side quest with him for getting a piece of heart, but... Oh well. Fly off, friend. Now we're gonna head uh, back to the stone. Why is it doing that? Snow Mountain. Oh, my puppy's sitting under my desk. Just thought I'd mention that. Alright. Now we're gonna head to the Goron village. This should be back behind here. Shabwam. Nope. Not gonna be bugged. I can't exactly remember what's in the hole, but uh it's probably not important at this point. I'll probably end up opening that hole up later, but whichever. Now then, with this deed, we can talk to this guy again. Wow, 
Well, okay. Why not talk to Agoron then? Hello, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Right now, I've got a special trade-in offer just for you. I'll give you my biggest bomb bag, regularly priced at a thousand rupees. Well, we don't exactly carry a thousand rupees yet. In return, I'll give you me your. You'll give me your big bomb bag and just two hundred rupees. Wait. No. Oh, too bad. Come back in. Look, mate, I got this title deed. It's pretty awesome. Wait a minute, let me read this again. I'll give you my biggest bomb bag regularly pr regularly priced at a thousand rupees. In return, you'll give me... Okay, so we'll give him our big bomb bag for 200 rupees, and he'll give us the big er bomb bag for free. Cool. Too bad, you don't have enough rupees. So, I'm gonna head to town, and I'll be back in the next episode with 200 rupees. So, see you all then.